<laughs> I'm like, am I clean? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. You've been clean. lazy YouTubers and done nothing. So I thought, oh, the last day when no one's here, almost everyone's gone, now I'll do the video. <laughs> Don't forget to floss. That's oh, a good idea. <laughs> uh, your inner vitality. I am Jess. I am a certified life and transition coach touring my guided journal across Canada in the courage to change. Lola. Cool. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. See you again. <laughs>
okay. And it is a six inch mattress. I had a three inch first and thought, mm, my hips don't like that. So I went to six inch. And comfort is very important. And be being tall, yeah, right. because I have to put my seat up. Right. These things are really handy, Nice. I find. And I put my shoes under here. And at night I put my water bottles, my iPad, my phone and everything up here. Next slide. And then I have a, the Jockery here. I have the 1000 Pro. Mm -hmm. I love the Pro because it charges in 1.5 hours. And, and it, does it charge when you're driving as well? Yes, I have Perfect. three outlets to charge it. I can solar, I can uh, charge it to my cigarette lighter, and then I put my solar, my flexible solar panel as well. I can charge it through there. So nice. that's been really handy. Um, Yep, I have little fairy lights along here. Nice. I have some hooks here. I have a little basket here, which is kind of handy. It fits in perfectly there too. <laughs> right. So it's good for clothes or whatever. Um, and this is kind of handy. So I have my oh, blackout yeah. curtains. I have my electrical bag. I have my wash kit. I have my dirty laundry right now. Don't look at that. We all have that. Um, yeah, and I hang a lot of stuff. I often hang my boots and vegetables sometimes from here too. Nice. So it's definitely mini. But, but it, it suits your needs. It's everything you need. Yeah, and I have my blackout Perfect. things. And I have my blackout, my blackout curtain here. I velcroed. So okay. My, black, my curtain just velcros all the way around. So that's kind of handy too. Fantastic. And you made your little screens on here, which is awesome. For yeah, outside. you know, those are no sam screens and I got hmm? them for 10. I got one piece for $10 and I cut it in half and I just use magnets. It's a really good they're also handy to hang your tea towel or whatever on right. with the hook. These are awesome. Double magnets, duty. Actually. Yeah. Which well, you need in a small space anyways, right? Yeah. And I also have my um, main guards, which are really helpful too. Excellent. Well, thank and you very I'm much. Get solar on the roof and I can still put my kayak over top of my crossbars. Nice. So I can fit my solar underneath that. So. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you very much for showing us your van. It's been so nice chatting with you and then spending time with everybody here at uh, the meetup. Thank you. Okay, safe travels. Safe travels, everyone. So who do we have here? My name's Katia. Hi. I'm one of the uh, directors of Off the Grid Communities, cool. which is a company we started to offer people opportunities to live off grid in harmony with nature. So uh, yeah. Come and check us out if you if that sounds appealing to you. Oh, that sounds very appealing to <laughs> many, many people, I'm sure, <laughs> including us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at Meanwhile Farm. We've had an amazing time at a meetup yeah. here, and it's been great getting to know everybody and hanging out with uh, like-minded people, and uh, it's been a fantastic time. Did you want to give us a quick look at your van? Uh, it's still in progress. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'll just have a look at the outside here. Sure. Perfect. Yeah. You got some solar on the roof. Yeah, we got good solar so we can use the instant pot in it. Nice. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, uh, safe travels and I'm sure we'll see you again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Tara. I'm with Travel with T-Mick. T-Mick is spelled T-M-C. And this cool. is my van. Cool. And what does T-Mick stand for? My first and last name, Tara McAndrew. Oh, cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, are you on social media? I am. Same thing. Travel with T-Mick on Instagram and Facebook. Cool. It's my website. It's nice and simple. Nice. Yeah. Yes. We like simple. That's mm -hmm. what family is all about, right? Yeah. So you have a Ram? 2014 Dodge Ram Promaster 2500. Mm -hmm. 136 wheelbase. Nice. A little bit shorter. But it's yes. good because it's just for you, right? Exactly. And you have a nice size fridge down here. Oh, with a freezer. That's actually the, very similar to the size we have. Oh, and, and the important things <laughs> in the freezer. The, yeah. That's, of course, what everyone has in their freezer. That's the one we're hosting, you know? <laughs> oh, it's a meetup, you know? And you got a nice little garbage bag here, storage above. Yeah, so all of this, as you can see, is in full out construction mode. Right. Um, and will probably be different the next time you see it. That's how things roll, right? Just yeah. Keep going and see what your needs are as you go. Yep. I've um, got a dinette bed system back there. This storage area will all be different. Got a little flip up table here. Very nice. Yeah. I'm too short to get in, so I'm just gonna help <laughs> you. Maybe. Oh, maybe I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Very 
very nice. Yeah, I like your top. Thank you. Oh, you got a separate little one there too. Yeah, so this is my water filter. Mm -hmm. I actually want to replace this, but we've got this, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Comes around. Nice. Yeah. Work in progress. We're always a work in progress. That's mm -hmm. what life's all about. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much for showing us around. It's been awesome meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. Safe Thanks travels. For in. You too. Hey, how you doing? I'm Tozer. Hi, Tozer. Nice to meet you. Yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, we have a Ram 3500 Promaster. We've self-converted it. Cool. We've converted it in the way where we know we're going to keep switching it around and having things that aren't permanent. Everything, only thing permanent in this is the ceiling, the insulation, the insulated floor, everything else I can take out and move around. Cool. Uh, if you want to go and stuff in, no worries. Oh, don't mind I the can. underwear. <laughs> don't mind the underwear. We don't. We don't have underwear. <laughs> Who would have such things? So we, we, we put our bed lengthwise because right. I'm tall and I don't want to be scrunched even with the ProMaster. You're not vertically challenged like I am. Nope. So, <laughs> yeah, we are um, doing it for like three years on and off. Cool. We just retired last year, so we'll be spending more time on the road. Congratulations. Thank you. Safe travels. Nice to meet you. Hi everybody, I'm Basti from Newland Stories. This <gasps> cool. is Svenny. The other part. The other part. Hi. <laughs> Hello, and who's this? Pepper. This is Pepper. Hi Pepper. And we've all been having a fantastic time at the meetup. Hi oh, Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give us a quick peek in your van? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe, maybe in two minutes. <laughs> okay. Hey. Here we are back again. Yes, a little bit of cleanup now. <laughs> That's not cheating. No one else got to clean up. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on in. So what kind of van do you have? So this is a Fiat Ducato. It's mm -hmm. almost looking like the Promaster. It is like a Promaster. Yeah, but it's a little bit different with all the parts, engine, and <laughs> so, yeah, it's hard for us to get parts for the van. We thought it would be a little bit easier, but yeah. Really, it's, it, it, there's actually differences here for some of the inner working parts? Almost everything. Yeah? Yeah, so starting with the rims um, to uh, the engine is totally different. Everything we need, for example, we have now a problem with our coolant, it's leaking. Oh no. And maybe we have to check the head gasket, oh. but we have to need different tools to change, for example, the timing belt or whatever different parts different tools we need to ship everything from germany because oh, no, it's expensive. we don't have it with us <laughs> so oh, no. we have to wait for it it is expensive and then we have to find someone who touches a european diesel mm, that's not tricky. that easy not that easy i guess you have to train yourself yeah a little bit so yeah every mechanic is teaching us a little bit and we hope we can do yeah, something on our own but yeah it's not that easy oh, i'm not a mechanic scary. at all yeah and how long are you over here for so we started two years ago in Europe. Mm -hmm. We traveled one year in Europe, then we shipped last year to Halifax. We nice. traveled four months in Canada, went down to Baja, came back to Canada, nice. and now the plan is going all the way down to Argentina. And I think it will be the whole next year included. Nice. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. And we'll have a quick little look around. Oh yeah, do it. Oh, I love your tile here. Yeah, we love it too. It's our Mexican <laughs> tiles, it's real tiles. Yeah. And yeah, we love it. The, it's a little bit color in here. Yeah. Follow you on social media? Oh yes, for sure. They can follow us on Newland Stories. I thought I have a quick. Oh, oh, I didn't get a sticker yet. No. Oh man, I need a no, sticker. No, one. <laughs> yeah, follow so... us on Newland Story, and then you can follow us struggling on our way down to Central and South America, oh. all the way to Argentina. Everyone loves to watch somebody struggling. <laughs> we will struggle for sure. Well, enjoy your your travels and safe journey. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Now I'm gonna go check out somebody else's van. 
of this beautiful tree. Carn Celia, Hi, welcome Celia. to Beatrice the Van. Beatrice, oh, what a lovely name. Come on in. <laughs> oh, that's a cool idea with the magnets. Yeah, this is I like that amazing. idea. Um, but the wind's, things, the wind's yeah. fighting you today. Of course, of course. <laughs> Love the colors. Well, welcome. Come on up if you'd like. And what type of vehicle is this? So this is a Sprinter 144 wheelbase, so it's mm -hmm. the shorty. And um, this is a dinette conversion that converts into uh, smaller than a king, larger than the queen. Okay. And then I've got my kitchenette area, so a nice deep sink. And then I just have my outdoor cooker that I just take Perfect. outside. Hot and cold water. Um, I just have a Bosch water heater, so it takes about 10 minutes to turn that on. And then I've got some hot water if I want. And then on the uppers, um, I created this kind of uh, wicker because I like a little bit of natural elements in the van. But actually I found that this was great because it lightens up the cabinets. So I have them up on the top. I have them a couple down here and it creates a lot of airflow because nice. we all know like humidity is not a fun thing to have. No, bed. humidity is not our friend. No, not at all. Um, and then just basically here on these sides, I have my garbage under here. I've got my nice little air fryer that sits up here. And of course, everyone needs the ultimate. Ooh, that's <laughs> nice. Spice I rack. never got one of those. Yeah. So all your cooking needs if you want. Perfect. Yeah, and then I just have, um, you know, simple blackout curtains that I kind of made and these drop down. Oh, that's good. So they really tuck out of the separates, way. It um, the front of the cab and the back. Right. And um, it can be in really like incognito mode because the front just looks like a typical utility van. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. He's done a great job. Yeah. yeah. And then my fridge sits right up in the center here. Yeah. Everyone always see. asks where my fridge is and it serves as a center console, but yes. it keeps all of this out of the way and it gives me a little bit more storage space and a nice little spot to put your drink on top or anything you got too. it you yeah. got it Perfect. and then i have my little porta potty that sits under here it's a little cassette toilet that nice. i use um and shoe storage under here shoe storage and then my little grab and go drawer is all like my mosquito repellent sunblock outdoor candles Perfect. so that you can just kind of grab them and then not have to come into the van completely that's awesome. That's features. And a little table back here. A little flip up for morning coffee. A little prep station. That's the outdoor shower. Got an outdoor shower for a quick rinse off. That's my water fill right in the back Perfect. here. And, and a nice I plug back here too. Kept it super simple. I did get uh, some plugs, you know, if you need to do some work or maintenance or, or anything on the van. Some mm -hmm. USB ports for nighttime plug-ins. So we can still browse on our phone before bed. And this is a complete pass-through and I designed it that way so that you can haul longer things. That's great. Yeah, if you want it to. Thank you so much for showing us your van. Thank and you. It's been a visiting. great time meeting you at this meetup. Awesome. Same here. Safe travels. <laughs> Bye. Hey, who's in here? Who's in this van? Who's that? Hey, it's it's our retired life. That was perfect timing. Wow, that was awesome. Uh, our retired life. Take it. Oh, a sticker for us. How lucky are we? <laughs> our retired life on YouTube, Instagram, and what's that other thing? Oh, is that like email? Uh, oh, my website. website. <laughs> oh, a website. I didn't notice. It's a little mouse. How cool is that? So this is Eula. Hi. And this is Alex. Hello. <laughs> and this is, do you, does your van have a name? No. Oh, this is their van for our retired life. Yes. You can come on in. It's semi-clean. I don't no, think I can reach. Our... I'm vertically challenged. Here, we have a step. Oh, we have a step for me. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So Eula and yes. Alex and Rob and I have felt like we've known each other for years because we have been communicating on social media and keep missing each other everywhere we go and go in the opposite direction. So we finally got to meet up with them. So that's awesome. Yeah, when you're in Kingston, we're in Florida. When you're in Florida, we're in Kingston. When you're in BC, <laughs> we're in PEI. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're opposite to everywhere we should be. But today, we're all at the same place in Ontario. Here we are. This is Meanwhile Farm near Newmarket in East Gwillimbury, Ontario. Yep. And we've had a fantastic time. And uh, this is their van. Yep. Typical bed, sink, fridge, 
power. <laughs> All the Storage. basics. Everything you need. <laughs> Everything you need. Yeah. All handmade by Alex and me, the get this, the get that person. The gopher. <laughs> the gopher. The gopher. That's it. I'm Pam. Oh, hi, Pam. Hi. Hey, is it, where's your vehicle? This is my van right That's here. That's your van right there? Cool. Yeah. What's better than a Ram Pro Master? You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Have you enjoyed your time today in the last couple it of days? Was incredible. Yeah. It was it's, amazing. It's been a fun meetup, hasn't it? It's been the, it's the people. Yeah, it's the people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know who that crazy person is behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all good. Yeah, well, enjoy safe travels. And Thank we'll you. see you another time. See you on the road. So we finally got to meet you guys. Yeah. It's been an awesome time visiting with you, and I'm sure we'll see you again. Yes, we will. See you on the road. See you on the road. <laughs>